today was trying air delivery out of an alternate platform, so utilizing the CH-53 rotary wing aircraft. Typically, we drop most of our cargo loads and personnel parachutes out of a C-130, a fixed wing aircraft. The goal was to get that alternate platform, work with the rotary wing aircraft, allow the Marines to train on a platform that they're not used to training on. So, and that's why we, we did a door bundle um, simulating cargo like resupply. And then the Marines got to also do the personnel drops out of there. So once all the jumpers will suit up, we'll conduct our jump master personnel inspections, load them onto the aircraft. My assistant jump master was on the ramp taking control of the stick and we communicate in the aircraft via hand and arm signal. So all the jumpers we trained prior to even getting onto the aircraft. Low level static line um, is your parachute is deployed from a static line uh, that is connected to what we call an anchor line cable in the aircraft. Um, so as soon as you step out of the aircraft, uh, that static line pulls the deployment bag and your parachute activates. Uh, with military freefall, um, you're jumping at 10,000 feet, um, not under their parachute canopy uh, through the sky, and then it's on them to deploy their main canopy. Every time we do the training, something's different, so you can learn something new every time we do it. So it's important for us to continue to maintain the training. In a combat environment, this would lean over to being able to deliver supplies to troops on the ground that need it via air delivery as a one capability that 3rd Transportation Support Battalion offers to the EMF.